Today we're going to make a sofa. I designed the frame of this sofa to fit an old set of IKEA cushions that I had, but you could take the same concept and use it for cushions of different sizes. The side panels for the sofa are made out of 2x10s. Now to cut the 2x10s to length, I'm going to use a speed square clamped down to the 2x10 in order to make sure they get nice straight right angle cuts with the circular saw. Once all the pieces of 2x10 are cut, I'm going to sand them down with an orbital sander. Once all of the pieces of 2x10 are nice and smooth, I'm going to lay them out into panels and mark locations of where I'm going to use my biscuit joiner to join them together. If you've never used a biscuit joiner before, don't worry, it's actually really easy. You just mark locations that match on both boards and then do this little plunge cut thing with the biscuit joiner and it creates these nice little slots that you can use to bind the boards together. You can then apply some glue and these little wood chips or biscuits and then clamp the whole panel together. Now I had to use clamps on both sides of the panel to make sure that the panel didn't buckle or bow because I wanted it to be nice and straight. I let the glue dry about 20 hours before removing the clamps. I now had three panels made out of 2x10s that would form the outer perimeter frame for the sofa. I then screwed pieces of 2x3 to the inside face of each one of these three panels. These 2x3s will create a ledge that will support boards that will support the seat cushions. I used L brackets to secure the panels together at nice right angles. The cushions will end up hiding the L brackets, so I'm not worried about them showing on the inside. For the front facing support board, I'm going to take a piece of 2x10 and then screw a 2x3 right down the center of it. Now my 2x3 was a little bit warped, so I had to use a clamp to force it into the right location. I can now take this front support board and screw through the top of it and into the 2x3 ledges. Once the boards are in, I can test fit the cushions and see how it feels. Everything was comfortable and sturdy, so I decided to finish it off with a coat of Danish oil. These sofas are on the boxy side of modern, but I'm pretty happy with how they came out. For more detailed instructions, go to my website and be sure to follow me on social media.